Hello, everybody, and thanks again for tuning in to tonight's trivia. Today is all about board games, and I hope you guys are ready to get started. It's going to be a ton of fun, and I can't wait. Go ahead and get your game pulled up right now, guys, and let's get started. Alrighty, let's get started, guys. Looks like we have a couple people still lagging out. So let me actually give you guys just a second longer. Here we go. Let's get started. All right, starting question one. Let's go. Okay, this game involves a black and white disc and a green grid for a board. Is it Othello, Go, or Connect Four? view screen just died so let's see if I can bring that back and it's Othello nice job guys on to the next one okay on to the next one in this game you can be dispatcher medic scientist operations expert or researcher is this operation risk or pandemic And it's pandemic. Nice job, guys. On to the next one. Let's see. Real Alec, you're in the lead. Nice job. This is a Euro game in which players build a medieval landscape. Is this Settlers of Catan, Caracasone, or Risk? All right, guys, only five seconds left. Oh, looks like everybody answered. And it's Carcassonne. Nice job. And looks like Joj is the new leader. All right. This game was immortalized in When Harry Met Sally. Is this categories, Monopoly, Pictionary? I hope you guys are staying totally safe at home and make sure you keep washing those hands. All right, Pictionary, nice job. And looks like Alyssa is our new leader. All right, in this question, in this game, pl players try to get all four of their pieces around a board and to home. Is this life? Sorry, or shoots and ladders. And guys, just to let you know, this Friday we are gonna have a prize for you guys to win. I this week's prize is homemade cloth face masks to help protect you guys during this uh, pandemic. All right, looks like Alyssa, you're still in the lead. Okay, which game features Miss Peacock? Clue, Uncle Wiggly, or Domain? Only five seconds left, folks. And it's Clue. Nice job, guys. Alrighty, looks like Alyssa, you're still in the lead. Joe's close behind, Real Alec, and then Al. Alrighty, this game is now set in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Is it Monopoly, Casino, or Life? Only a couple seconds left, folks. And the answer is Monopoly. Nice job, guys. 
Fun fact, Monopoly now has editions for nearly every major city in the country, but the generic version is now featured in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Alrighty, on to the next one. Alright, which game features a pop-o-matic for rolling dice? Is it Risk, Apples to Apples, or Trouble? Only a couple seconds left, guys. Get your votes in. And time is up. Answer is trouble. Nice job, guys. All righty, moving on to the next one. This game was originally called Lexico, then Crisscross Words. What is it now called? Is it Buzzword, Scrabble, or Boggle? And looks like everybody's answered. Answer is Scrabble. Nice job, guys. And don't forget, the faster you guys answer, the more points you get. Alrighty, Grandmasters have reached the highest level of achievement in this class of game. Is it Parcheesi, Chess, or Dungeons and Dragons? Only a couple seconds left, folks. Alrighty, and it's chess. Nice job. The uh, highest level in Dungeons and Dragons is your Dungeon Master. And looks like it's a very close race between Alyssa and Real Alec. Let's see who keeps good, keeps the lead. Alright, what class of game is known as Drought? in England. Is it checkers, Chinese checkers, or chess? And for anybody tuning in late, just a reminder, this, this Friday's prize is a custom-made face mask. And answer is checkers. Nice job, guys. All right. Looks like, Alyssa, you are still in the lead. Moving on. In this game, players try to establish and grow colonies. Is it Car Carcassonne, Settlers of Catan, or Risk? Alrighty. Looks like everybody answered. Answer is Settlers of Catan. Nice job, guys. Okay, this game, created by two Canadians in 1979, had $20 million in sales in 1984. Is this Cranium, Pictionary, or that number has majorly inflated over the years, so I didn't want to know how much it is now. And Trivial Pursuit, nice job. Okay, on to the next one. All right, this is a two-player war game in which players try to capture each other's soldiers. Is this... Stratego, Risk, or Battleship? And my monitor just died again. Love technology. And answer to that, guys, is Stratego. Nice job. Alright, this is a two-player game with dice. Is it Parcheesi, Backgammon, or Mancala? All right, answer is Backgammon. Nice job, guys. Looks like we're having a little bit of lag, so let me just try to reset that screen for you guys. Sorry about that. All right. Let's... Mm, this 
it the same one? Okay. This is the same question. So let's see. Go ahead and answer it again if you didn't answer it already. But I'm just refreshing this right now so that way the lag fixes the fixes for you guys. Al, thanks for the heads up. Alrighty. In 1860, Milton Bradley introduced this game in which players spin a numbered wheel in the middle of the board. Is this Glockus, Masterpiece, or Light? Alrighty, let's see everybody answered. Answer is Life. Nice job. Fun fact, Life is one of the most popular games right now as you can play digitally amongst friends. Alrighty, on to the next one. In this game, players draw cards that have colored squares on them. Alrighty, answers are Candyland, Risk, or Uncle Wiggly. And answer is Candyland. Nice job, guys. Alrighty, on to the next one. Okay, in this game, in this board game, players are rewarded and punished for certain behaviors, but it's really just spin of the wheel. Is this shoots and ladders, life, or figure it out? Looks like everybody answered. Answer is shoots and ladders. It, it rewards you if you land in the proper space and you get to take a ladder up, or you're punished if you land on a wrong space and have to take it go down. Oh, looks like we have a new leader. Alrighty, on to the next one. This game involves colored marbles and a star-shaped board. Is this Parcheesi, Chinese Checkers, or Mancala? Alrighty, it looks like everybody has answered, and the answer is Chinese Checkers. Nice job. Alright, looks like it's neck and neck. Let's see. This is an extremely classic board game. It originated in India as early as 500 CE. Is this Cribbage, Parcheesi, or Backgammon? And it looks like everybody has answered. Let's take a look. And it's part cheesy. Nice job, guys. Ooh, looks like Al is taking a little bit of a lead. Nice job. All right, this game involves pads of paper, an hourglass timer, and a 20-sided letter die. Is this categories? Pictionary or Cramium. And it's categories. Okay, on to question 22. In which game do players pretend they're railroad mag magnates? Railway robbers and barons? Ticket to ride or Monopoly? And it looks like on my side, everything is synced up. So if you guys are lagging, I do apologize. It might be just your internet on your side right now. Answer to that question is Ticket to Ride. All right, in this game, players hold cards with adjectives on them. Is it Hi, Ho, Cherio, Uno, or Apples to Apples? And everybody's answered. Answer is apples to apples. Nice job. All right, looks like you guys are still basically neck and neck. On to question 24. 
There are 11 games in this war strategy series. Is it Car- Carcassonne, <laughs> Risk, or Axis and Allies? Everybody's answered. And it's Axis and Allies. Nice job. All right, on to the next one. In which game do you drop chocolate-like discs into a vertical grid? Is this Connect Four, Othello, or Uno? Answer is, of course, Connect Four, folks. Okay, on to the next one. Which originated as a pencil and paper game around World War I? Strategy, Stratego, Jenga, or Battleship? And everybody answered, that is Battleship. So originally, way back when, before they had physical pieces, they just had a good paper board and basically you just mark it off with a pen and paper. Okay, on to question 27. In this game, you might have to draw, act out clues, or make a sculpture. Is this categories, cranium, or Pictionary? Everybody answered? It's cranium. Nice job. All right, let's take a look at that leaderboard. Looks like real Alex is in the lead. Alyssa super close behind. Joe, Al, and Kenzie. All right, guys. You might get a shock playing this game. Is it Operation, Mancala, or Boggle? And answer is Operation. Nice job, guys. They have different- Alrighty, folks. Second to last question. In this game, players have to get their partner to guess a given word without using a list of forbidden words. Is this Balderdash, Taboo, or Scattergory? Looks like everybody answered. Answer is Taboo. Nice job, guys. Let's check that leaderboard one more time. Alrighty. Looks like it's a super close game. So it's a toss-up of who might actually end up winning. All right, guys, don't forget, the faster you answer, the more points you get. On to our last question. This ancient Chinese game has black and white stones and it's played on a grid. Is this Go, Othello, or Chinese checkers? All righty, only a couple seconds left. And answer is Go. Let's take a look at that final leaderboard. And by a smidge of a lead, Real Alec gets first place with 1,556 points. Second place goes to Alyssa. Third is Joe. Fourth is Al. And fifth is Kenzie. Thank you guys for tuning in always. And go ahead and take a look at the schedule to see the rest of this week. Have fun.